Top 10 Most Trained Police Forces in Africa Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be presenting to you the Top 10 Most Trained Police Forces in Africa. The police force of any country is the base of the nation's security protocol and the training methods under these forces depend on the security needs of the nation in question. Every police force has a motto, vision and primary task and so the training the government puts them through will depend highly on these aspects. From basic to the most sophisticated training, the training given to the police force of each country will also depend on the level of entry into the police force the individual badge is going for. That is why sometimes they start with basics, get recruited and get a higher training to move to a higher post of duty. To reach a conclusion on the most trained police force, we took into consideration the reputation of the force, the training duration, training methods and ethics of the training institutions in question. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Note that most police forces keep the details of their training process secret for security reasons, and so most of the details are not there for the public to scrutinize. Notwithstanding all that, here are the top 10 most trained police forces in Africa. Number 10. Rwanda National Police RNP. The service was created on 16 June 2000 by law number 09 of 2000 and merged three earlier forces, the Gendarmerie Nationale of the Ministry of Defense, the Communal Police of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the Judicial Police of the Ministry of Justice. A state-of-the-art forensic laboratory opened in Kigali in 2017 with the technician's staff undergoing training in Germany in order to be able to operate it. The RNP vision is people in Rwanda are safe, involved and reinsured. The mission is dedication to the delivery of high-quality services, accountability and transparency, safeguard the rule of law and provide a safe and crime-free environment for all. The Rwandan National Police has geared its training towards improving its operations and is now clamping down on private security companies, believing the security is a sensitive matter and should be handled by the government. The training of these forces usually lasts about 10 months, where besides combat and defense, educational courses are also taught, but to go up to the ranks of the force, further training is needed. Number 9. Botswana Police Service The service has its origins in the Botswana Land Mounted Police, which was formed on 1 July 1884. In 1965, following the independence of Botswana, the Botswana Police Force was formed and in 1971, the first female police constables were recruited. In 1977, in a reversal of earlier policy and in response to growing threats to Botswana security, the Botswana Defense Force was formed. The modern Botswana Police Service is an armed police service of 8,500 officers, including 2,000 female officers. Botswana Police Service runs a police college near Otse village called the Botswana Police College where the force is trained. The BPS is divided into various branches and the most notable are Special Support Group, Air Support Branch, Transport and Telecommunications Branch and the anti stock Theft Unit Training Branch. The SSG is the paramilitary branch of the BPS and it is run along military lines. Police officers in this branch are called operators and they undergo 3 months military training upon completion of the mandatory 12 months police training. The four core values of the Botswana Police Service are delivering a service characterized by humility, dignity, courtesy, empathy, kindness, consideration and respect for all people. The Botswana Police Service has been ranked first in Africa in terms of being the most efficient and high performing with significant inroads and fighting drugs. Number 8. Ethiopian Federal Police The Ethiopian Federal Police is based on keeping the people of Ethiopia safe and fighting crime. Besides the regular training in combat, intelligence and protection, the Ethiopian trainees follow a two-week training provided by specialists of the French National Gendarmerie sent by the Corporation Detectorate of the Ministry of the Interior in the framework of the Bilateral Partnership Agreement established in 2019. The training usually covers all the specialities of the technical and scientific police and in particular the modern know-how of phrasing a crime scene and exploitation of clues such as footprint, photography, ballistics, entomology, etc. 28 members of the Addis Ababa Police Force received first aid training to give them the skills needed to save lives in emergency situations. Some are also trained in drone flying and this has left this force an elite amongst its African peers. Number 7. Angolan Police Department The mission of the Angola City Police Department is to enhance the quality of life in the city of Angola by educating and working cooperatively with the public within the framework of the United States Constitution to preserve peace, reduce fear and provide a safe environment for the citizens of Angola. 
a paramilitary force under the Ministry of the Interior, the Angola National Police is made up of operational, technical, consultative and support bodies, including Border Police, National Criminal Investigations, Traffic Control and SWAT. The current Provincial Commander of Luanda Chief Commissioner, Eduardo Fernando Kekera, says that the National Police wants its cooperation trained police officers to do a work of prevention and fight against crime, respecting above all the population and human rights. During training, they undergo extensive tasks to build their bodies, minds and also spirits. Technology has also been added into the training program, following a deal with Huawei to train the police force in high technological know-how. Number 6. Tunisia Police Force The Tunisian Police Force is a separate military force of Tunisia, but not part of the Tunisian Armed Forces, due to its specific role as a counterbalance to the regular military. It serves both as defense force against external threats and as a security force against internal threats. It is both a standing force of 15,000 and a serious force to guide the citizens of the nation. The Tunisian police force is facing increasing challenges with the number of officers being injured or worse on duty climbing each year. The police force has managed to maintain the status quo, but given current uprising in the country, it has to step up its training program. Number 5. The Surete Nationale, Algeria The Dictatorate General for National Security, Surete, is a civil police of Algeria. It polices Algeria's larger cities and urban areas. The Surete is part of the Ministry of Interior and is charged with maintaining law and order, protecting life and property, investigating crimes, and apprehending offenders. It also performs other routine police functions, including traffic control. The Surete is headed by a Director General and in 2007, it consisted of a force of 430,000 and it is believed to be organized along the lines of the National Police with operational and investigative branches and supporting services. The Gendarmerie Nationale equipment includes various transport, patrol, armored vehicles and light weaponry. In addition to a variety of vehicle transportation and light weaponry, the Surete Nationale contains a special riot police force to assist with extensive civil unrest and threat, featuring modern riot control gear. The Gendarmerie Nationale uses a pale green uniform, while the Surete Nationale features dark navy coloring. Both police forces primarily use small arm weaponry and have received adequate training to operate all the weaponry and armored vehicles they have been equipped with. Number 4. Ghana Police Service The Ghana Police Service operates in 12 divisions, 10 covering the 10 regions of Ghana, one assigned specifically to the seaport and industrial hub of Tema, and the 12th being the railways, port and harbors division. For each of the regional police divisions, there is a regional commander, who is in charge of all operational and administrative functions under his jurisdiction, including preliminary training. Officers in the police service are subjected to six months intensive training at the police college in Accra. The classes concern police duties and how to handle and sometimes to fix weapons. There are also courses in physical education and the training is done by experts in each department including the drug law enforcement unit of the criminal investigation departments for the fight against cocaine trafficking in West Africa. The expert specialized agents from units recreate technical and practical exercises in order to familiarize the officers with geolocation systems and tracking tags. Other aspects include surveillance, combat and division as Ghana wants to have the best police force in Africa. Number 3. Royal Moroccan Gendarmerie On 29th April 1957, the Moroccan Gendarmerie Royale was created by a law of Dahi Mohammed, followed by a gradual departure of the French Gendarmerie on the 1st of January 1958 until its full replacement by the Moroccan one. The Moroccan Gendarmerie Royale is a force of police tasked mainly to ensure public safety, maintain order and to ensure law enforcement. Given its military status, it forms a main part of the Royal Armed Forces and hence received military training which has made them unique amongst their peers. Accordingly, all these prerequisites for recruitment have given it the ability to perform excellently its noble mission. The police in Morocco is not the most responsive but has made some gains in creating law and order despite its shortcomings. This can be accounted for by its training process, which is top-notch and taken like a ritual to instill loyalty into the policemen and women upon completion. Number 2. South Africa Police Force SAPS. The South African Police Service is a national police force of the Republic of South Africa. Its 1,138 police stations in South Africa are divided according to the provincial borders and the provincial commissioner is appointed in each province. The Constitution of South Africa lays down that the South African Police Service has a responsibility to prevent, combat and investigate crime, maintain public order, protect and secure the inhabitants of the Republic and their property while upholding and enforcing the law, and their training attests to these duties. The training period of SAPS is rigorous and tough, and this means that not every single person passes, 
The initial training period lasts for approximately 6 months. You conduct 3 months of theoretical study and 3 months of practical study, all of which will be conducted at one of 6 colleges set up for South African Police Training. Following the 12-month training period, you will enter the South African Police as a student constable. This title essentially means that although you have completed your initial training, you are still learning and therefore will be required to gain more experience. Usually your time as a student constable will be spent working in a community-based capacity, gaining experience in dealing with the public and learning vital tips which will take you forward into your SAPS career. This period lasts for approximately 6 months. Once your time spent working as a student constable has been completed, you will spend another 12 months training as a member of SAPS dealing with everyday police scenarios and essentially functioning as a fully qualified member of the police force. Following this 12 month period, you will be included as an official employee of SAPS and then you can flash that badge at any given chance. Number 1. Egyptian National Police the Egyptian National Police is the most trained police force in Africa and the process is no walk down the park. The Police Academy is the modern institution equipped with laboratory and physical training facilities responsible for training the Egyptian National Police Force. The police force also sends some officers abroad for schooling when they attend certain ranks. The Police Academy offers a four-year program which includes security administration, criminal investigation, military drills, civil defense, firefighting, forensic medicine, communications, cryptology, first aid, sociology, anatomy and foreign languages. Also included are political orientation, public relations and military subjects such as infantry and cavalry training, markmanship, leadership and field exercise. Graduates receive a Bachelor of Police Studies degree and are commissioned first lieutenants. Advanced officer training was given at the Academy's Institute for Advanced Police Studies, completion of which was required for advancement beyond the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. The Academy's three-month course for enlisted personnel is conducted in a military atmosphere but emphasizes police methods and techniques. Some police officers, especially the Special Operations Officers, are well trained by Egyptian Armed Forces in Al Saka Military School. The Egyptian Police Force is low in the rankings compared to its military force, which is one of the strongest in Africa. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 most trained police forces in Africa. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.